Hey everybody, welcome to Kuyu Live and welcome to 2015. Just wanna say thanks to everybody for absolutely amazing 2014. We had exponential growth again and amazing support. I just wanna say thank you to everybody for, for supporting Kuyu, for recommending Kuyu to your friends and helping us grow at just an amazing rate. And 2015, we have great expectations. Uh, we have some amazing new products, some amazing new innovation that we're gonna take out to market for you. And we're launching it live here at Kuyu Live. And today we're gonna to be covering one new product that we haven't released yet. And then we're gonna be covering some of the technology behind our new socks and our new Kenai jacket that has uh, garnered a lot of questions and a lot of attention and really solves a major problem for insulation. We're gonna start with our new uh, Scarpa Grand Drew GTX boot. And this is an amazing new product and from an amazing boot manufacturer out of Northern Italy, Asalo, Italy. And Scarpa has been around since 1938. And they're the largest technical boot manufacturer in the world. And really unsurpassed as far as innovation and technology. And I approached Scarpa a couple years ago to try to put together a boot program and really, Kuyu wasn't in a position to work with Scarpa. And we ended up working with Zamberlin to create uh, the Premier boot, designed off their Premier platform. Well, this is a fantastic boot for really technical, steep terrain and conditions. What we found from customer feedback was it was really too much boot and a boot that was too specific for just sheep and goat hunting. And we had a lot of customers asking for a boot that was a little bit more well-rounded, something that could, uh, something that could, they could take on elk and deer hunts and also go sheep hunting in. And so went met back with Zamberlin, looked at some of their other platforms, and in the meantime also reached out to several other Italian boot makers and was able to put together a boot um, with Scarpa, the Grand Drew GTX, that solved some of the problems that this boot created. This, the, the Zamberlin boot, just to take you back through it so you better understand how the Grand Drew solves some of these problems, is a full crampon compatible boot. So we have a completely solid, rigid midsole that runs from the heel of the boot to the toe of the boot. It's gonna create an incredibly stiff platform, which is great for front pointing and really steep terrain, um, and great, gave your foot great support in really steep terrain but created a really stiff boot for when you're traveling on less steep and technical terrain. Also created some heel slippage and blistering for customers. So always searching for a solution to, to problems at Kuyu, we uh, reached out to Scarpa and talked to them about a boot that would solve some of these problems. And they came to me with a Grand Drew GTX. And we began testing it this summer and fall and we're blown away with the range of terrain and conditions that this boot excelled at. And one of the major differences is this is a semi-crampon compatible boot. So you're gonna have a rigid uh, midsole that goes about three quarters of the way through this boot. You're still gonna be able to attach a, a crampon, uh, semi-crampon compatible crampon that'll lock into the back of this boot. But we're gonna have a little bit more flex in the toe box area. So that's gonna create a more comfortable wearing experience um, and gonna be able to use this boot in a wider range of hunting conditions and mountain, mountain terrain. And so I was able to hunt in this boot on sheep hunts, elk hunts, and even a bear hunt up in Alaska and felt like my foot was incredibly comfortable in all those different terrains and conditions. And even in the really steep technical terrain, this boot has a lot of stiffness. Um, it's still not a, a very flexible boot um, but it's going to give you more flex than a full crampon solid midsole boot will. It has a very aggressive rocker in it. And so that's going to let this boot roll in terrain that isn't as steep. Um, so you're in between really steep mountains and you're traveling. This boot's comfortable to wear. And Scarpa, uh, being around since 1938, is really the innovator in mountaineering boots. And this innovation trickles down into other boots that they're producing. You're gonna find a really aggressive Vibram sole in this boot. And this sole has really big lugs, which is gonna give you incredible traction. And they've engineered in different zones within this sole 
that are going to accomplish different things. They've got um, what they call a thrust zone, which is going to allow that, which is designed for the boot for forward, uh, forward movement. They have large lugs, which are going to allow for the mud to clean out of this boot quicker. And they have a, what's called a high traction area, which are these this this area of the sole, so it's going to grab onto terrain when you're descending. And a really aggressive heel and lugs on the on the heel part of this boot that are going to they're going to catch the mountain when you're descending and give you tons of traction. Also, when you get your hands on this boot, you're going to feel it's got a really tacky sole. We didn't have any wear issues, but we did notice that it was grabbing onto rocks better than any other Vibram sole I've worn. So a combination of this outsole and then the midsole is a TPU midsole and it has variable thicknesses and densities within this midsole and that's going to allow for great shock absorption. It's also going to allow and eliminate uh, and minimize foot soreness. You're going to get more comfort out of this boot because of the variable TPU membrane um, or excuse me mid midsole. It's got a Gore-Tex boot liner, so you're going to get great waterproof and breathability. It uses a Italian suede leather that's done through a really unique tanning process. And they actually uh, put silicon into this leather, so it's going to allow it to dry faster. It's going to repel water better. It's going to minimize stretch. I don't know if you've had a, a leather boot, but you can get boot stretch. This is going to help eliminate that. They've had great, we've had great results in testing it. Scarpa has a great history with their leather as far as keeping it shape and limiting stretch because of this tanning process. You're gonna notice it has synthetic through the upper part of this boot, and that's gonna enhance breathability. So we're kind of getting the best of both worlds with the leather and the synthetic. You get tons of durability, and then you get lots of breathability in the upper part of this boot. So it's a really nice combination between breathability and, and durability. It's a tall boot, it's a slight, it's about a centimeter taller than our Zamberlin boot. So you're gonna get great coverage for water crossings and ankle support in really steep terrain. And it's got a great rand on it. It's gonna come up over the top of the boot, so you're gonna get great protection. It's gonna, again, maximize wear and durability of this boot. And it comes up really high in the back heel, so you're gonna, again, get great protection from crampons or from your other boot on the inside, and then also descending through really steep terrain and rocks and shale is going to give this boot protection. It's got all solid steel eyelets and hooks with a, a locking hook here just above the mid portion of the boot so you can lock in this lower section and hold the tension as you lace in the top part of the boot. This boot, like the Zamberlin boot, has a double tongue. So it's going to be able to adjust the volume within this boot just by pulling or pulling up on this uh, webbing loop or releasing it and pushing it down and adjust the volume and comfort and fit. So if you're not familiar with what a semi-crampon compatible boot means, let me show you. We have the Scarpa set up here with the Petzl Irvis crampon and it's a semi-crampon uh, compatible crampon and this has a binding which snaps into the platform here on the back of the boot and it's gonna let you lock this crampon in. You're gonna have a plastic strap that comes over the top and your webbing strap that's gonna cinch this tight. And this is a really good crampon uh, by Petzl for this boot and for hunting situations. It's a crampon we're now gonna be carrying this year in our gear shop, so you can take a look at it. And sets up perfect for this boot. It's designed for glacial travel. It's not necessarily a front point ice climbing crampon. So it's gonna, it's better set up for what we're gonna encounter on most of our hunts. And Petzl's uh, products, as you're familiar with, are, are nothing but quality. And a crampon that we really, really recommend, especially set up for this Scarpa boot. And then, so what we've really put together, what Scarpa's put together is the finest quality boot made by the finest tactical boot manufacturer in the world in a package that's going to let you hunt in a huge range of conditions. I, it's a boot that, I did, you know, quite frankly didn't exist. It was, it's just now being introduced in Europe and fortunately Scarpa was, is willing to allow Kuyu to import it into the United States. 
And we're the only company in North America that's going to be able to carry this boot this year. And we're releasing it today because we're going to be introducing at Wild Sheep, this boot at Wild Sheep later this week. So we wanted to give you guys the opportunity to learn about this boot because it's such an amazing product. We have 600 boots that will be arriving in May. And once we're out, we're out for 2015. So I wanted to give you guys the opportunity to place pre-orders. We're going to be taking pre-orders at Wild Sheep, at Dallas Safari Club, Safari Club, and Western Hunting Expo over the next two months. And wanted to make sure that those that aren't attending the show have the opportunity to place a pre-order because it's a fantastic boot. Everybody that's tested this boot at Kuyu feel like it's, everyone has the same opinion, it's the best hunting boot they've ever put on their foot for a huge range of conditions. And I don't want those that don't get to the, sh the shows not to have a chance to get this boot this year. So it's the Grand, uh, Grand Drew GTX, uh, be available for pre-order online right after this presentation. And if you're thinking about it, place a pre-order. And I guarantee you're gonna absolutely love this boot. Um, so if, make sure if you have any questions, type them in and I'll get to them at the end, uh, just like with all these products. And we'll be giving a, a, a pair uh, of boots away today at the end of the, uh, end of the release at Kuyu Live, so stay logged on. And we'll give a pair of uh, these away. Great new product that we released last month that'll complement the boots or a new, or new new yarn sock. This is a really amazing sock and I've been wanting to release socks for the last couple of years, but we just haven't found the perfect combination of materials and manufacturing. And we introduced new yarn earlier this year uh, in our base layer program. We we're blown away with the results and the testing of the fabric and the yarn. And for those of you that saw the launch of New Yarn, you'll be familiar with this, but those that haven't, what New Yarn is, is a new way of making merino wool yarn. And we actually take a piece of stretchable nylon, and instead of twisting merino wool, which puts the fibers out and takes away the density, we pull the merino wool along the nylon fiber, which gives it more loft, it actually makes it more durable, it dries faster and is and is higher uh, is more abrasion resistant. So we took that technology and started developing into a sock as soon as we started our base layer program. The development took a little bit of time to put together, and uh, the Merino Company introduced us to the New Zealand Sock Company uh, out of Auckland, and we started working with New Zealand Sock Company and the Merino Company to develop the world's first new yarn sock. And what's great about the New Zealand Sock Company is all their production is done in New Zealand. They've been the leader in sock innovation for several decades. They have the most advanced knitting machines possible. We can actually take a computer program, design in the sock that then goes into the sock knitting machine, and out comes a sock, just as you see it. And we are able to actually put in different yarn densities in different areas. And so that's allowed us to make a really efficient hunting sock. So you'll notice that there's some different colors on this sock and the different colors are different yarns and yarn densities. So we're actually able to put padding and higher padding, higher durable durability in certain areas of the sock and then take it away where you're not gonna need it. So for instance, the black areas are our highest density yarns. So you're gonna get great abrasion resistance. You're gonna get more padding and more comfort and the darker gray areas are going to give you a medium density padding and that's going to cover like your ankle bones and the top of your foot and on your shin for descending. And then the, the tan area is your least dense, dense area and that's really where you don't need as much padding. So you get a really efficient sock that's going to give you comfort, support, and then you add in the new yarn technology, you're going to get a sock that lasts longer, dries faster, and creates a, a better blister resistant environment for your foot. And we've been testing this uh, for the last six months and I guarantee you this will be the best sock you've ever put on your foot. And we are thrilled to bring this thing out and really excited about this new yarn technology in, in knit sock. And you guys are absolutely gonna love it. it comes out in a single height today and then later this year, this is a below calf height, we'll have an above calf height that'll come out uh, the, later this spring. If you're looking for a great mountain sock, you won't find one that's made better or performed better than, than our new yarn sock. And then another and last product we'll be talking about today, we've had a lot of uh, questions about it, 
and a lot of people interested in it. And that's the, the new Kenai, the new Kenai jacket. So bring it over here. And most of you are, of you are familiar with our Super Down product. I love Super Down. Super excited when this technology was introduced to us a couple years ago by Torre. And it's really light, it's super, super warm, very efficient piece. Those of you who have worn it um, understand it really well. Uh, one of the challenges with insulation is its, uh, its lack of breathability at times compared to uh, like a fleece. Uh, and also the, uh, the noise factor. And you're gonna have a piece that's really warm, packs up really light, but at times doesn't breathe well. So if you're doing high exertion outputs, you're gonna get clammy and sweaty underneath it. And also the noise. So you have to layer over the top of it. You're also gonna have you know, the, the noise and breathability issues. And that's the same problems we had with when we ran our spin drift jacket with Primaloft was we still had some noise and breathability issues with the fabric. And that's because, as with down, even synthetic insulations before 3DFX, which I'll introduce to you now, you have uh, fibers that would migrate through the fabric. So we had to coat the fabrics to keep the insulation in, whether it was down or whether it was even Primaloft or some of the other synthetic insulations that are out there. And what Tori has uh, developed is what's called a continuous fiber insulation. And what happens with continuous fiber is from one side of the fiber uh, insulation matting to the other side of the insulation matting is a continuous fiber. It never, never breaks. And if you look at the 3DFX insulation, it looks like little spiral springs, right? It runs from one side to the other. And so when we cut a panel to put into a jacket and sew it in, those fibers start at one side that are sewn in and run all the way to the other. So that allows us to use a fabric that's uncoated. And there's some advantages to uncoated fabrics. It's quieter and it breathes better. Uncoated fabrics will even stretch better. Uh, and because of the makeup of 3DFX, looking like a spring that runs from one side to the other, we get a lot of stretch in this garment, unlike other insulation, insulated garments. So now we've got a, uh, now with that package of the 3DFX uncoated fabric, we're using a stunner stretch fabric, so it's a nylon-based fabric, so we're gonna get a lot of abrasion resistance and durability with a really lightweight fabric. We get a package that breathes well, is really quiet, and stretches really well. So you've got a garment that you now can wear in high exertion outputs and cold weather. Uh, you're gonna get a, a wider range of temperature and conditions you can wear it in. And you've got something that's really, really quiet for an insulation piece especially compared to a down jacket and even compared to other synthetic insulation jackets. And th with that in mind, we designed in on the Kenai jacket two chest pockets, two ham pockets, and pit zips. So you can wear this as a mid-layer, and we know some of you will wear it as outerwear, which you, which you can do with this piece. If you're going to be traveling through areas, you're going to slip and fall on rocks or going through heavy brush, we do recommend this as a mid-layer. But but it can be worn as an outerwear piece. And I've spent all fall wearing this jacket and it's absolutely fantastic. It's just slightly heavier than our Super Down products. And again, you can wear it in a wider range of temperatures and conditions. And I absolutely love it. It's treated with DWR, so you're gonna get weather resistance. Again, synthetic insulation, so you don't have to worry so much about getting it wet and how you pack it and store it. And really solves the problem for insulation. And that's why we moved back into this synthetic insulation away from, sorry, away from Super Down, but is another alternative and choice because 3DFX solves such a problem, which is the breathability of insulation, comfort and noise. And this absolutely solves all those problems for, for insulation pieces. And uh, fortunately, be, uh, working so closely with, with Tori, we're the first company to introduce it in the hunting market and in North America and in the, in the, actually in the world. And then, uh, Kuyu and Patagonia are the only two companies that have introduced this product so far. I know Patagonia has had great results with it and we're expecting the same. We just received our first shipment in and we'll start shipping this product this week. So those of you who have placed pre-orders, those will be going out this week. Those of you who are interested in this, this first shipment is limited. We, ex we expect to go right through it. So if you're interested, put your pre-order in. If we don't get yours out on this first shipment, 
we'll be getting additional shipments coming in throughout the rest of the spring, winter and spring, and should be able to fill those, those pre-orders. As with any of our products, if you want it, pre-order it. Uh, a lot of times our, our pre-orders are exceeding our shipment. So uh, something you guys want, really recommend putting the pre-order in. You absolutely love this product. And so that covers the three new products. Uh, those of you that, that are logged on, we are going to be drawing names. They are going to be giving away a pair of socks, new set of the Scarpa boots, and a Kenai jacket. You have the choice between hooded or non-hooded, via Severde. And uh, again, really excited about these three new products and innovation they bring to market. Solve some, some great problems. And this is the first set of innovation that we're taking out to the market this year. We've got a lot more lined up that'll be introduced later this winter and earlier this spring and summer here on Kuyu Live. And couldn't be more thrilled to be introducing it here to you. Again, I appreciate your support. I appreciate everybody logging on. And if you've got your questions, type them in. If we don't answer them here, we'll get to them. And there's a, usually hundreds of questions that come in. So be patient. And we've got our, our crew in the back trying to answer them as quickly as possible. I think Pat's consolidated some of the most common questions that I'm going to answer or answer now, and then we'll go to the winners. So get those from Pat. Thank you. So, and this is a question that's come up around uh, the Kenai on the forums and uh, through customer service. I'm not surprised that this is the first question that came in is, why not prime loft synthetic insulation, something that's proven versus 3D FX? And it's a great question. Um, there's some key advantages that I covered with 3D FX, but we'll just make sure that those are crystal clear. One is the continuous fiber, and that's gonna run from one side of the panel to the other. And that allows us not to have to coat the fabrics, which is gonna make it for a quieter garment and a garment that's gonna, a jacket that's gonna breathe better and be more comfortable to wear, and you can cover it, and you can wear this piece while you're climbing, unlike a down jacket or a prime loft jacket that doesn't have continuous fiber, we have to coat the fabrics. So it's quieter, it's gonna stretch better, it's gonna breathe better. We've done independent lab testing, or Tori has, on, on this product, and it's 20% warmer, which I didn't cover, than primal loft insulation. So this 90 gram is gonna function more like a 100 to 110 gram insulated piece. And so you're gonna have a warmer piece with less weight that breathes better, is more comfortable and quiet. Hope that covers your questions. It's a great question. It's why we chose 3DFX and decided to come back into market with synthetic is because of, of this technology. All right, the second question. How does Scarpa compare to Zamberlin with regards to quality, weight, and performance? Great question. So Scarpa is the industry leader in technical mountaineering boots. I think everybody else kind of follows in the shadows of Scarpa. They're based in northern, northern Italy, kind of the mecca of of mountaineering boot design and technology. And uh, you're gonna find unsurpassed quality and performance in Scarpa. And everybody else, kind of like, like I said, kind of follows along with what Scarpa does and chases their innovations. Uh, this boot's 990 grams, so it's a little bit lighter than our Zamberlins. And again, it's not a, a solid midsole or a full crampon compatible boot, so you're gonna have more flex and it's gonna take you through a wider range of conditions. The full leather, uh, is going to give you more durability. It's a boot that you're going to have for years and years because of how it's designed and how it's engineered. And it's a boot that's designed for carrying heavy weight loads uh, through a wide range of conditions. So uh, testing it, comparing it to the Zamblin boot, which is an absolutely fantastic boot, this is just going to be a, a more versatile product. Will there be different heights of socks in the future? And I just covered that, but just just uh, make sure it's clear. We do have a, a sock now that sits right below the calf. And then later this spring on our second shipment, we're going to have a boot that's over or a sock that goes over the calf just below the knee. Fourth question, can you wear Kenai as an outer layer? And I will say yes in most situations. And we designed it that way with the two chest pockets, the hand pockets and the pit zips. Um, if you're gonna be going through and busting brush or going through shale slides you may be falling and we do recommend either putting a layer over the top of it or, or removing it. Um, but it is stunner stretch, so it's a nylon based face fabric, so you're gonna get some really good durability out of it. But again, if you're gonna be beating it up, pounding brush, we don't recommend that you wear it as an outerwear.
Um, it does have DWR, so you are going to repel water, but again, it's, it's still a, a fairly lightweight fabric. And then our fifth question, this is a good one because it's come up a lot with uh, the Zamerlin boots, and that is heel slip. How is the heel slip with a Scarpa boot and blisters? And one of the things we, you, you will find with a solid midsole boot or full crampon compatible boot is the stiffness creates the heel to want to lift. And let's grab the Grand Drew. The Grand Drew, because it's not a full crampon compatible boot, it does have some more flex in the front. And then Scarp is designed in what they call it a heel lock system. That's through the lacing components here and it comes down in and around the heel of the boot. So it's actually able to lock that heel in this boot. And in testing, we have yet to have anybody blister in this boot. Not that you can't, uh, but we certainly didn't. And we didn't get any heel slip at all. And it's gonna be a little bit different feel than what you had if you tried the Zamberlin or have the Zamberlin is that, that stiffness and the way this rocker is designed uh, uh, compared to the Zamberlin, you're not, your heel's gonna stay locked and in place and you're not, not gonna have that feeling of, of heel slip. So I think that covers our, que our main questions that have come in, again, we'll try to get to everybody's question. We will get to everybody's questions that come in in the next day or so. So just be patient. And let's uh, go ahead and, and pick the winners. Pat, do you have those? All right. So we're going to start with the socks. And uh, Trent Lowe from Utah won the socks. Congratulations, Trent. Kenai jacket, you're gonna have a choice, hooded, non-hooded, verde, or vias. And Charlton Moore from Mill Valley, California, he's a local guy. Mill Valley's just uh, about an hour from us. Uh, congratulations, Charlton. And a new pair of Grand Drew GTX Scarpa boots, your size of choice, and that's Brian Panliak. I think I pronounced that right. He's from Edmonton, Alberta. Congratulations, Brian. You're absolutely going to love those boots. So I think this concludes Kuyu Live, first edition, 2015. want to say thanks to everybody for logging on. I really, really appreciate it. Again, thanks for an amazing 2014. 2015, we have a lot of innovation rolling out. We have a lot of great things that are going to happen here at Kuyu, and really, really excited to, to get this information out to you over the next few months and look for, uh, look for our information coming out about the next uh, KU Live events. And again, thank you so much, and hopefully we'll see you at the trade shows coming up.